What's up guys? Welcome to episode three. We've got paint. So we're here at Lyft ATX. We're not gonna be able to go inside, obviously, because they're finishing up the painting inside and outside, which is very exciting. In this episode, uh, I'm gonna talk about a, a, a few of the questions that I get asked a lot about the gym. And towards the end of the video, uh, not only are we gonna take a little travel around East Austin, but we're also gonna, I'm gonna answer some little lighthearted questions so that you can get to know me a little bit better. So uh, this is episode three, stay tuned. One of the biggest questions I get asked a lot is why a gym? And I'm gonna do my best to answer that question. Um, so I grew up in South Texas where a lot of, where it's not the most healthiest of cities. It still isn't one of the most, I love Corpus, don't get me wrong. All my family's still down there. All my siblings still down there. My friends are still down there, but um, it wasn't the most healthiest of cities. And a lot of my, my family also had their own series of health issues along with myself, you know, and I had some pretty scary, scary health issues to the point where I had, um, you know, I almost had a stroke because of high blood pressure. So it got a little scary. My mom got sick, you know, so it was just kind of a rough time for me in regards to health. And going through those own experiences made me realize the importance of health and that I, I was now able to control all of those health issues I had by exercise and diet. And, and uh, along that journey, I learned a lot, I gained a lot of knowledge on health and fitness. And, you know, I just wanna be able to provide that same service to our community and, you know, to anybody else that's interested in sort of making a change for, in their life and, and making health and fitness a priority. So that's kind of why a gym. Another question that I always get asked is, why the East Side, why East Austin? And for me, it's pretty simple. I've lived on the East Side for the last 20 years of my life. Now back then, when I, when, when I first moved here, it wasn't the most popular area in Austin. You did, we didn't have these multi-million dollar uh, property developers coming into East Austin, building all these condos that you see. It was, it, it, it was a very strong community, but it wasn't what it is today. And anybody that's lived here in Austin uh, knows that gentrification is happening right now as we speak. And because of that, property values are going straight through the roof and it's pushing out a lot of people. The East Side has welcomed me with open arms. The community has welcomed me with open arms. For the last 20 years, not only did I live in East Austin, but I also worked in East Austin. Uh, I worked at schools uh, only in East Austin. And up until you know a few months ago, I was still working in schools and working with students and working with parents and working with uh, the community. Uh, so I know the community. And, and that's another reason why it's very important for me that my business was gonna be back here in East Austin. When you combine my passion for wanting to help people with their health and fitness goals and making health and fitness a priority, along with my passion of providing a service for the East Side community, then you get Lyft ATX and you get Strengthening community, community and strength. La Bamba, Bull Durham, Coming to America, Blood and Blood Out, and Ferris Bueller's Day. Oh, racking your fucking, re-rack your fucking weights. And now, and now with Rona, spray the shit down, spray it down. Depends on what I'm lifting. If I'm lifting legs, or like heavy squats or something, I'm listening to probably heavy metal or like hardcore metal or something. If it's anything else, more than likely it's like, I don't know, gangster rap, special talent. Yeah, I'm a drummer. I've been playing music for in Austin for a long time. Shout out to uh, Molly Dangerous. Uh, you, you can insert picture here, maybe tag Molly Dangerous, the band. So I've been playing music for a long time. So that, that's the one that comes to mind. I'm a drummer. Shout out to at Hector Heck. My, he's been the best workout partner, the most reliable. He always be checking me. Follow him at Heck the Heck. Astros. And I also grew up in a house. So one, Houston Astros, always. And then I grew up in a house where we always rooted for the Dallas Cowboys. And yes, you can be a fan of both. Uh, I know I'm probably pissing some people off with that one. All right, y'all, that concludes episode three. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, a lot of important, a lot of exciting stuff happening. 
uh, we're getting some more equipment in. It's painted now, so maybe we can start setting up the gym. Uh, also, you might see some mural stuff activity happening soon. Uh, shout out Lace and Founds. And before I leave, shout out to my homie ebaby 2 for the awesome shirt. Y'all follow her on IG. She makes some awesome shirts. Shout out to my boy, at Heck to Heck. Make sure y'all follow him. Uh, anyways, thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, keep staying updated. I'm going to do my very best to keep y'all updated with what's happening with the gym. And as always, strength and community, community and strength. It's an old truck, man. Puro pinche cowboys! What's up, guys? Shit.